And how did you record the album? You were in Australia. They was here in the United States. Yeah, I, I haven't seen Dave uh, since before the pandemic. Um, I haven't seen Patrick, who played our drums on this album as well as the last album. Um, his wonderful friend. Um, I haven't seen Corbin, who played bass. Uh, Tosi is one of the singers who came back from the second album. And I've only met Justin Michael Williams, one of the singers on Zoom. So to record, we we had to record remotely. Um, I had to learn Pro Tools, which I, I'm not very technical. Dave had to learn Pro Tools. We learned how to set up a, a mic in a little studio in my son's bedroom. Um, uh, Dave's niece, Ali Stringer, who's a wonderful vocalist and sings the harmonies on this. Um, she lived an hour away, so she came up. Uh, but really, you know, I mean, I sung the whole album on an SM58. You know, it's a, it, this is a, the cheapest microphone that you can get that everyone uses when they go on tour. Um, and initially, um, the idea was we we're just going to record rough tracks and, and develop the album. Um, and then it just kind of evolved that we realized, oh, well, we're, this is the album. Because uh, everything was scrutinized, you had the time to go, oh, do we want this here? Do we want that there? Let's pull this out. There's a risk that you can sterilize the music because it's too perfect. Um, and so I think we like the concept of lo-fi, hi-fi, you know, very, very perfect mixing and, and mastering, uh, but the, the way we capture the music and potentially even leaving some mistakes in so that it would have some of that human warmth uh, was all part of it. Usually you have everybody in a room and there's an energy that you capture um, you know, and we didn't have that. And so, you know, to try and capture that, we really worked hard to not be so focused on perfection, but really focus on the mood um, and the energy that the take had. Um, and so it kind of has that little bit of a little bit of rough around the edges, but at the same time, really a warm sound. Absolutely. It's an album that is real. It's an acoustic album. I mean, we <laughs> there's no electronic music uh, in it, no programming of drums. Um, there's a little bit of electric guitar, um, uh, but that's it. Everything else is played practically. So I think, you know, subconsciously the human ear can pick up on the human element, which is pretty much the mistake, you know, that lets them know that there's another person, you know, with emotion on the other end of that speaker. On the mall, on the mall, pass, 